welcome everybody <laughs> welcome to star scene mission support we're off to a good start here um hang on one second
Starseed Mission Support. We have a really um, special um, episode today. Can you guys hear that um, little scratchy noise in the background there? Or is that just from my headphones? <laughs> just let me know if you can hear that little scratchy sound in the back. Or if it's just me. Okay, let's, let's turn this one down here, and then, hello, is that a little better? It's a little better, but it's not picking as much sound up. Hmm, weird. So... Definitely. Hello, hello. And then I'm gonna turn my headphones up here so I can hear. Hmm. That is not great. So. Ah. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Just hang in here. I just want to make sure that we're not distracting our field until... Laurie says it's not a big deal because we can imagine there's a waterfall in the background. Okay, so I think that's a little better. And I think that once, you know, I start with the sound healing and stuff, um, that is not going to be as bad. Okay. All right. Okay, so it's gonna, I guess, be a little scratchy for a second here while I describe what we're about to do, and um, then <laughs> um, I'll, I'll flip it onto the echo mode, which seems to have less static. <laughs> okay, you can move up on the mic. Hello. Well, anyway, I do apologize for the little scratchy sound. I don't know exactly what it is, but okay. So... We are in for a treat today. I'm really excited to do a full-on healing ceremony together. Um, I want to just talk just really briefly for maybe about five minutes on what these ceremonies are and just how profound they are to my being. Um, and we're going to just briefly talk about why it is so profound for us to engage in healing together, especially in the levels of healing that we do. And um, through talking about it, I hope to get us into a really grounded and um, subtle space together, a really vulnerable and gentle space together, um, because healing is something that is very profound on a soul level for us to do at this time on the planet. Um, and some of the energies that are coming in lately has really been about um, lucidity and um, yeah I know the volume is not very loud because when I turn up the volume then I get this static so it's not great I think you know what I'm gonna try um Computer's gonna be doing this. <laughs> okay. Anyway, it's okay. It's okay. Okay. All right. Hello. Okay. <laughs> ah. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, here we go. I'm going to actually just, um, I'm in a very, um, as you can tell, I'm not speaking quickly as I usually do because I'm, I'm kind of in a more trancey state of consciousness already. The energies that are coming in for the ceremony started coming in a couple of hours ago. And so um, I do apologize if 
my English speaking processes aren't working as usual, but you'll soon benefit from that because it's just a different sector of the brain that um, is in use when we're doing these ceremonies. Okay, so um, yeah, I want to explain a couple of things about what we're about to do here, uh, just for context. Um, in any time that we engage in shamanic healing, we're basically, what shamanism is, is accessing other dimensional consciousness and energies for healing for soul expansion for growth for accessing knowledge this is what we have um, done for thousands and thousands and thousands of years on the earth um, in these shamanic rituals and ceremonies and it's just that in this now time as we're expanding and as we're evolving as a planetary collective we are accessing even higher dimensional um, vibrations of consciousness than uh, we have previously and so especially at this time because we have so much angelic and galactic support that many of these beings are our higher self aspects are our self upstairs um, and our souls family and guides um, me myself I don't work with a huge team of support I'm very particular about who I work with um, so I have a concise but very um, adequate team of interdimensional healers and guides, um, one of whom is my beloved um, daughter, Kara, who is a uh, incredible souls teacher to me. And I also work with Baba G, who is basically an emanation of Pran creation. And I as well channel the consciousness of the Divine Mothers, um, and the, di the various emanations of the Divine Mothers, and so, you know, Kuan Yin, and Hathor, and um, Tara, <laughs> Gaia, and, you know, many other emanations of the Divine Mother that we don't have names for or we don't commonly talk about. So what we're doing in this space is coming into a stillness or a neutrality or a zero point in our heart so that we can tune into vibration where we have access to all realms and through this pure intention of love in our heart we're establishing a pristine space where only the vibrations that are in alignment with your highest love and highest joy can come through and we're going to establish those parameters when we as we start our ceremony um these ceremonies that we faci facilitate are um, interdimensional in nature. And so there's not really much you need to do in your physical realm besides making sure that you're comfortable and you don't need to go to the bathroom and you have water. And sometimes people get cold when we run energy. So you might want an extra blanket just in case. So you want to curl up in it. Um, you uh, can do that without having to get up. So... Um, Let's see. The reason why these ceremonies are so profound to my soul is because we gathering here today doing this level of healing work is really the thing that will trigger the mass awakening and will move the collective into that critical mass that we keep talking about. So critical mass isn't necessarily just the number of people that are awake or um, have taken the red pill or whatever. It's actually a, a vibrational um, peak or a vibrational state where enough people um, heal enough trauma and release enough density and activate enough um, parts of their light body that were resonating at literally a higher vibration, meaning we're accreting more source light through our light body, through our plasma body, through our DNA. And the way that we do this is through a really deep multidimensional healing. And this is very profound because what we're witnessing on the planet right now, you know, people wonder, why aren't humans waking up? Why, you know, do they believe everything that they see on the TV? Well, it's because there has been multidimensional trauma-based mind control, both programming and interdimensional etheric implantation that has been placed on the planet and on humanity that most humans just aren't equipped to um, override that 
And the reason why the light workers and the star seeds, we can stay awake through um, that mass assault and mind control is because we came in with particular strands of our DNA active already. And we came in with antiviral in our consciousness. So this is the stuff that me as a soul and many others were working on upstairs in the light ships before coming down to earth. Um, as a geneticist, I know that I participated in a lot of those um, missions upstairs and per preparing these DNA strands and this antiviral. Um, part of what this is, is, you know, the earlier um, wave one star seeds, you know, they're always feedbacking information upstairs because we operate as a collective. And so as we gain information about MK Ultra, about planetary mind control, about these rituals that are occurring on the Earth's grids, um, we program various um, antivirals. And so a lot of the few later star seeds, I can hear that by the way, um, a lot of the later star seeds that are from my generation or a little older, um, we came in with antiviral, meaning that we didn't really fall asleep, right? So many of you were in high school and you're just like, there's something wrong with this world. You, you know, you never really fully participated in the machine. It's like, even though you were inside of it, a lot of people were fully convinced by the reality of the false matrix. And there was just something about it that didn't resonate with you. So a lot of, um, let's see here. Um, a lot of the, sorry, just taking care of little chat business here. <laughs> um, and then I blocked the chat because it's distracting to me. Okay. Yeah. Um, whoo. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and clear that energy right out of here. Um, a lot of <laughs> these antivirals, um, some of them stay dormant um, until um, certain environmental factors come online. So that's why, um, you know, some people wake up when they're 30 or some people wake up when they're 40. The holographic moment of different phases of awakening is actually coded in the Starseed's DNA and dependent on the environmental feedback. And this is how we... Um, create holographic um, markers in our mission because time is not solid. So we can't say like, okay, on January 3rd of whatever year, like my soul is going to do this. Like we couldn't exactly um, code our timeline like that. So the way that we did code our hologram was through um, feedback and consistent holographic change. I hope that makes sense. So the reason why I'm sharing this information with you is that we are coming into another wave of starseed activation. Some of this information that is being shared through this vessel um, at this time are particularly for indigos and starseeds with advanced DNA templates that are here to activate into a higher um, embodiment of human potential. And so I'm getting really hot now. <laughs> So as we're speaking on these things, um, these, you know, if you're, if you're getting hot or if you're feeling something in your body, even if you have no idea what I'm talking about, you know, this is the next phase of your starseed awakening here. And what that means is that as you um, activate more levels of your holographic self, of your plasma body, you're going to find that the thing that's keeping that energy flow from happening in the body are these etheric and interdimensional blocks. And many of you have um, starseed tags and surveillance implants and dream harvesting and sexual energy harvesting devices. Um, and all of these things are what's keeping our energy in a denser field. And so today what we're doing is we're going in to begin to clear some of these things. We're not going to be able to clear all the things in your field in an hour. You might, you know, combust because what happens when we start clearing some of these denser fields is that higher light energy is able to flow through those previously blocked places in our body and your vibration is going to shift. And so with these ceremonies, we don't want to overdo it because then sometimes people can have 
you know, healing crisis and uh, situations where we do too many clearings and then they feel like crap for a couple of weeks. Me personally, I like to go all out. I consistently push myself to the point where I need to sleep for days after clearing. Um, but that's just because, you know, I have this really deep um, well of love for humanity. And as I have done this work, I realize just how much pain and how much suffering this planet and humanity is, you know, consistently under. And it's literally not fair, right? How these interdimensional beings have imposed these uh, technologies to siphon human energy, to siphon life force energy from this planet. Um, it is sort of like a farm, right? It's a farm for reversal energies. And so the only way that energy could be siphoned is through the torture and the harm and the suffering of humanity and other um, uh, senseful animals. Um, and so that's why we have so much of that rampant on our planet. It's not that humanity organically evolved into a society that factory farms and you know, trafficked children, that was never a natural thing that evolved out of. And, you know, this is the one way that the negative agenda gaslights humanity by saying, we don't know what human nature is. Maybe humans are partially evil. That's why they do horrible things. No, all of this stuff, all of the distortions are created by these impositions, these planetary distortions and technologies in the etheric realm and these fallen um, beings that are literally uh, farming humanity for these reversal energies. And so this is a long um, preface. Okay. This is a long preface. It's important for me to say this because this, this isn't another one of those, you know, Reiki healings like, oh, I'm just going to channel some angel light for you. Like this is some serious stuff. Okay. This is how we are on the precipice of the spiritual war on earth. And as we start to clear these things, you're going to have your memories come back. You're going to have, you know, certain soul fragments return. And it's not always going to be easy as you start to remember some of the horrible things that may have happened in a past life or during an abduction or and then start seeing that on a mass scale. This stuff is, you know, that are things that starseeds and angels have come here to interface with. And so that's why it's really important for me to really communicate just the, the depth of the, of the work that we're doing. Um, and so this is kind of a um, intro quantum healing to the three ceremonies that we're going to be doing next weekend over the Pleiades Gateway. Um, the link to that is in the description those three ceremonies will continue the work that we're doing today into even denser levels. Um, and so I'm not going to say much more. Um, you're welcome to get really comfortable. You want to lie down. You want to get a blanket so you can be warm. Make sure you have water around. And we're going to get started um, in just a minute. So today we're going to be focusing on clearing the heart field. So in the heart field, we're going to be working on our heart walls, reversal currents, trauma imprints, abandonment, um, kind of polarity distortions of, you know, longing, those kinds of energies, which I call emotional misery program. Um, so we're going to be restoring the heart field. And then we're going to be clearing the crown and the third eye chakras from dream harvesting devices and source blockers, um, thought intrusion devices. This is when you start getting weird thoughts that aren't yours um, and any related things like that. Um, and then we are going to get into clearing the denser fields a little bit. This includes clearing out any open wormholes into uh, outdated people, maybe old partners, um, wormholes into negative realms if they're energy siphoning devices, holes in the aura. And of course, we're going to um, get into the sexual misery programs a little bit, but that's a really dense field that really we don't want to go too deep into today. And then we do want to clear out major star sea tags and surveillance implants and entities and energy siphoning devices and programs. 
Um, so, yeah, we're going to get started now. So just get comfortable. And we're so happy that you're here with us. And, uh, yeah, I'm sending you so much love. Thank you so much for being here. Um, all of humanity and the planet are just so joyful and grateful that you're choosing to spend your time in this intention of this deep level healing. And so we're just so grateful that you're all choosing to be here now. to this now moment. Sim. 
sinking and breath deeper into steady comfort. sacred spirits and allies of divine love. And through the sensation of our heart, we are intending that only our highest source connected aspects and only our angelic and galactic team and allies and guides will work in alliance with the highest original pure vibrations of source consciousness may be present here in this now. And through the intention in our heart, we're intending for only those energies which are in alignment with our highest love and joy transpire for us in this field. And we allow our beings to receive your support. portals and the base of our feet. 
what's happening as we do this is that all of the meridians and all of the ley lines in our body and our light body are opening up which allows our system to begin to relax allow our subtler blockages to open <sighs> and just breathe as those chakras in the base of the feet are opening and bring your awareness over to the top of the toes over to the ankles and just tuning into the bones the tendons the blood the flesh and even the hair follicles on your body vibration of body consciousness as we're breathing up into the shins, into the knees, smiling into the legs, into the hips. And as we're scanning up the body, just pay attention to any tension that you might be feeling, any dark spots, any emotions. And it's okay, too, if you don't sense anything at all. <sighs> and smiling up through the intestines and the digestive organs. And here in the solar plexus, we're just going to smile gratitude into our organs, just giving thanks to our organs. perpetuating processes of life underneath our awareness. And they do it in just pure love for us. Breathing up into the heart, allowing that gentle heart energy to radiate through our shoulders and down our elbows and our and our hands and we're opening up our hand portals here and the same thing we're just opening up the vortices and the tips of our fingers allowing life force energy to flow through our body freely feeling lighter already just from that simple process and so breathing up into the throat into the crown, opening up the crown like a satellite made of stars. And here we are receiving the vibrations of our pure soul's essence. I invite you to just reach up into our soul star chakra. Now, it's going to be different for every person how far up you want to go until you feel just slightly like you're hovering outside of your body where you begin to get in touch with a part of you that is not burdened by this 3D reality, not burdened by your ancestral trauma or the traumas of this life, but where you're still deeply connected to source. And we're just gonna connect in with that higher self soul energy for a second.
crystalline core of the new earth. systems or networks which keep us from accessing our original love energy.
emotions arise, just allow the waves to move. Allow the feel to support you. Lean into the supporting energy of the angels that's here. Okay, we're moving into the original pain. The pain that we store in our heart of separation. Being separate from each other and the earth and source, creation. And that, you know, even though our world normalizes judgment and division, it's really a torture device on these gentle human beings that are made to love. And so all the ways that this system has taken your love from you, we're allowing that pain to be soothed by the loving grace of God and the angels here. Allowing your heart to cry, to release grief, to feel that pain here together. And just allow and release and relax and sink back into the presence of love. we're bringing through a healing frequency for any interdimensional manipulation, etheric implantation or manipulation from abductions, experimentation related to abductions, and gene harvesting and all related networks, as well as the alien love bite, reversal false twin programs, and any emotional misery devices as well, uh, higher self galactic team, we're commanding for a clearing of all of these networks and implantations. The energy current reversal devices. If there are any components that are attached into the lower chakras, let those be cleared as well. or soul fragments out of trauma back into the core soul crystal here in the heart chakra just reintegrating or fragmented aspects that might be carrying the pain back into our soul column through a vibration here to restore the heart field back to its original state as it was intended as it was coded in the original DNA template as a transducer of pure holy source love divine love God's love and just clear any resistance or blocks to that integration. 
vibration. through this field of any entities, any fragments, any ends, and all related energies which are programmed to hinder activation. Ooh. We renounce all consent to any being not of the highest love from being in our field and all dimensions and all of time space. Ooh. If there are any vibrational, oppressive entities, ancestors, thought forms, or fragments. We're renouncing all consent for your presence here and your impact on our field. Go ahead and clear all of those from all layers and levels, all dimensionalities, all timeline realities, Ooh, and all physical and layers of our etheric bodies as well. Just going to allow that frequency to run all the way through the field. third eye chakras here, so just bring our awareness to our third eye and our crown and just taking a scan here, a holographic scan of any energies, anything that feels like it's pressing, any pressure, any dark spots, you can pass the sound frequencies through your aura or a golden light through your field. And just see if there's anything that's sticking or not allowing the light to go through. Okay, now higher self, galactic team, source of all living creation. We're commanding for a clearing of base level implantation and in relating to dream harvesting devices, source blockers, thought intrusion devices, and etc all networks related to these implants go ahead and clear them from this field of all beings in this field if it is in alignment with their highest love and joy at this time go ahead and detach all anchors from all layers and levels of the physical and light body in all dimensions and all of time space and all timeline realities Whew. any ids 
fragments, entities, implant systems which are hindering soul's growth and evolution and blocking higher dimensional energy from entering the system, go ahead and clear all of those networks. for the field to remove any looping thoughts or trauma looping technologies that trap our brain in a lower brainwave state that blocks us from accessing source vibration and our divine frequencies of consciousness. that there's some that are networked with the heart and the throat go ahead and pull those soul systems right out consciousness, frequency implants. Oh, go ahead and remove all of those from the physical and etheric bodies. And if there are any agreements and contracts that were made consciously or unconsciously in all dimensions and all of time space, which allows access or ownership of our body, mind, spirit, energy, emotions in any way or shape. Go ahead and delete, clear all of those agreements and contracts. We do not consent to any being accessing this body it's not in our soul's highest love and highest joy and highest soul's evolution at this time. Woo! And just serving them their eviction notice. Okay, feeling the size of the skull here. Just moving a frequency right through the skull the top of the head. Go ahead and remove all source blockers and disc implants. Oh. oh, and here we want to also clear any open wormholes into negative realms, any attachments into AI realms and frequencies. Close all open wormholes, not of the soul's highest love and joy. Any outdated cores and attachments into negative beings or thought forms. Ooh, you can feel that pulling out of the neck there. intrusion devices, looping devices that are in relating to anti-self programming, any self-criticism, harsh comments towards the self, self-judgment, self-hatred, 
and all related patterns and programs related to those patterns, go ahead and pull those out from their roots from the multidimensional body and all levels. disconnect from all technology go ahead and clear all of our cords outdated connections or patterns wormholes into technology or social media go ahead and return all soul energy from the AI realities back into the anatomical vessel Woo! bring all dispersed energy into the AI ROMs back into the physical body now cleared with the love light of source if there are any fragmented soul energy from any dimensionality bring them all back here now wash it clear with the love light of source and breathe it down into the body through the higher self and the high heart frequencies through the field. breath into the body okay we're just going to take a moment of integration here before we move down into the denser fields and we're inviting our own highest source connected aspect of our higher self to oversee the process of any commands that were made today that are in alignment with their highest love and joy for them to be seen to their completion and if these clearings and intentions are in fact in alignment with your highest love and joy, let them be permanent. absolute pure stream of source energy to flow through these networks of our neural pathways 
and our higher chakras are nothing but the highest, purest vibrations of divine love in our own soul's essence may exist in this field now here. And so it is. We're getting ready to move down into the denser field here. The denser fields primarily are in the lower chakras, in the root, sacral, and solar plexus, and predominantly actually in the sacral chakra just because of um, the different kinds of traumas and mind control technologies that exist in our false matrix reality. Um, and so we're going to get in a, a frequency field deeper into the space here. And so just breathe. Ooh, and we're going to sink a level deeper now. Okay, and I want to let, let lead you through this meditation. This is a meditation that um, Divine Mother Kuan Yin shared with me. And it's kind of like the Vipassana meditation, but it's just a little bit um, variated. And so I want you to imagine that you're just on a cloud floating in the sky. And you're sitting on this cloud and it's feeling very cool. Feel the moisture, but the softness of the cloud on your body. And feel how the water and the air elementals, they just love your body so much. And you're just feeling enveloped in this perfect love. And in a moment, you're going to begin to drop down from the cloud onto a beach and it's a very beautiful beach you might see a jungle behind you it might look like something like costa rica or indonesia where there's very lush jungle foliage and you're on this white sand beach and there's just this ocean that expands into infinity in front of you and so we're preparing and you're dropping down into this beautiful scenery <sighs> And here it's so peaceful. This is a very peaceful place. No worries in a place like this. You might feel a light breeze on your skin. You might feel the warm sunlight shining down. And you feel so safe here. So at peace. In harmony and supported by nature. And in a second, you're going to look down and notice that you're actually sitting and floating on a white spinning lotus flower. It has a thousand and eight petals. Okay, it might be a lotus flower that's glowing in white light. And it's just floating off the ground. You're kind of sitting or standing and you're just inside of this lotus flower that's floating and you feel so delighted, so at peace, so protected here. And you know that this lotus flower represents the seat of your soul or the foundation of your being, your essence that is unchanging, eternally connected to source, eternally perfect divine love. And this is the foundation that we're standing or sitting on. Now, as you sink into the scene here, the lotus flower begins to move out onto the ocean. And it's just floating out onto the ocean until, and just floating out slowly, you're floating out further and further, and you feel at peace. You feel supported. You feel safe. You know that everything is happening exactly as it's meant to. And you know that you are protected and supported by your higher self and your team and all the elements of nature. And as this lotus flower is floating out into the infinite ocean, you notice that you can no longer see the shore behind you. And it's just this vast ocean all around. Now we're going to count down from 10 and the lotus flower is going to drop down into the ocean and you're going to be able to breathe in the water but you're going to drop all the way down down deeper and deeper into the 
floor of the ocean. And the floor of the ocean is going to represent our subconscious, all of the emotions that we have stuffed down, any traumas, basically all of our being samskaras from all lifetimes, all trauma and all held patterns of pain, all heaviness. And as you go down to the bottom of the ocean, you're going to see these bubbles. Right? And some bubbles are small and some bubbles are big. And the bubbles represent these emotions or these traumas. And so when you get down, and we're, we're going to count down from 10, so we're going to go do this together. But when you get down there, you can choose whether you want to process you know, a small pocket of energy or if you're ready, if you feel safe, if you feel held to process a bigger chunk of our emotional trauma energy. So you're going to see these kind of murky bubbles down at the bottom of the ocean and you get to choose which ones you can bring up, okay? And you might want to just start with a little one, see how it feels like to process an unconscious emotional energy and we'll go from there. So let's count down from 10, 9, we're sinking deeper, we're coming down into the ocean, 8, 7, we're sinking lower and lower into the ocean it's getting darker and yet we feel perfectly nurtured and perfectly safe in perfect connection with our soul's essence with our higher self six five four three two one just take a breath here on the bottom of the ocean. You might feel any tension, a little pain or anything in your body, but just breathe. And we know that we're here in the subconscious in the denser field. And we're going to spend the next um, maybe 10, 15 minutes here. We're going to hold the space for the clearing of trauma imprints, etheric miasma, holes in the aura, outdated attachments and cords. And so I'm going to go ahead and run these clearing frequencies and you can choose these bubbles in any clearings that come up for you and just know that you are held and loved in this field. team, source of living creation, we're commanding for a clearing frequency, 
of any outdated chords, any open wormholes into negative realms or entities or beings, timelines and contracts. Planning for an absolute clearing of all of these from all layers and levels of the physical and light body. imprints or pain bodies that are no longer of our highest soul's essence to carry if it's not necessary for our consciousness to relive or process those things go ahead and lift those dense fields from our body any etheric bodies these trauma patterns and imprints, any trauma looping devices, any levels of the sexual misery programs. Ooh. And just breathe, let the vibrations work for you. We're here together in this field of support and love. You are safe, you are held, you are loved, you are safe to feel any fear. Set the umbilical cord here. Okay, any outdated cords to our biological mother? If they are no longer serving our soul's highest love and joy, let those be cleared and completed. Move all outdated portals of energy up into the heart, up into the high heart, into unconditional love. karmic imprints between our self and our parents and our mother. Whew. Yeah, and we'll go ahead and just reconnect our umbilical cord right back into the source of living creation. There. there's any rage or anger or sadness you know you can scream into the ethers here have the tantrum that you need to okay, you can see your etheric aspects they can scream they can yell you can even do this in real life if you like and just releasing any pent-up emotions around the false matrix and this false mother energy that has controlled and abused us and our families on this planet, all the rage and anger and the fear that's built up around that, allow yourself to feel it fully. Know that you're held in this field. Know that we're transforming this stuck energy into another energy form. Ooh, good work.
Okay, the next thing that we're going to do is resetting our tailbone or our, our core roots. Um, the main distortion of belief that's here is that the false matrix is the source of life. This is a very common implant system. Um, and all the source of all of our scarcity programs and scarcity fears where we believe that the false matrix is the source of life <laughs> the false matrix is our mother when really the source of life is creation and is mama gaia is our planet and so the false matrix has tricked humanity into believing that it's the source of life you need a job you need a job to survive you need to do what you hate you need to torture yourself to fit into this system. Now, this is a coagulated energy form, usually around the tailbone area. So first, we're going to clear this implant system, Woo, this false connection into the false matrix. I'm going to feel this in the back of your hips. I'm going to just pull that right out. Feel that wrapped around the front of your sexual organs as well. This is about energy, right? It's like energy siphoning. So long as you're exchanging life force, you're giving your life force to the false matrix, it's got power over you. It's siphoning this energy from you. And so we're pulling this cord, whoo, this pathway of energy right out, clearing that. that flow through for a minute. chakra chakras are opening up for the first time in your life you might feel a relaxation that happens through the back of the tailbone just allow and breathe and allow that to open Ooh. allow any emotional energy to move through as well now we can feel that there's an organic tail Kind of like an avatar, you know, where their tails connect in and they can connect in with their uh, tree ancestors, the living tree of creation. They can connect in with their um, uh, partners and their society. They have this connection, this networked, integrated feeling of oneness. Now, this, this is going to bring up a lot of pain as we work on the tailbone because it's that pain of being literally cut from our source of life. Ooh. Okay, from our togetherness, from the peace and harmony that's always existed on this planet. Whatever color of your skin, what we have undergone together as a humanity is being severed from our source of life, right? And this is a form of soul level pain that we need to feel completely in order to feel safe to, to extend our tails out again Ooh, and so we're receiving the support of our angelics and the healing and the restoration of our roots and our tail of our primal trauma pains of abandonment, feeling like the earth and God has abandoned us, which is a very deep field of pain here. We're pulling out from our pelvic girdle.
receiving, right? To your tailbones here, to the lower body. Allow your body to receive these codes of original life restoration. feeling these vibrations is almost there is a primal deep body level innocent remembrance of original life on earth when all beings existed in harmony and all beings remembered the web of life for everything everyone every life is interconnected and there's so much reverence there's so much love and feel this safety. Ooh. How safe it feels to exist in that world. And how this harsh false reality has created these pains and these traumas and these walls that make us feel so unsafe just to be in it, just to live, just to be alive. And through that, whoo, we reach down into the memory, into the Akashic um, fields, where we remember the safety, what it felt to exist on a planet in harmony and connection. Whoo, good work, everybody. Keep going. So what we're doing right now as a collective is as we are coming into the frequency of that remembrance of the original template of life on earth. When we talk about heaven on earth, when we talk about the new earth, it's really about this feeling of unity, this feeling of harmony, this feeling of being in oneness with life. And we give and we receive and we nurture and we exist in this reverence. Okay, and that's the vibration that our bodies and our souls are yearning for. Our bodies are needing that to feel safe. And so we're creating literally as you are coming into that remembrance in your body, and you're anchoring that template in our collective field. We're literally anchoring that energy. Okay, as a collective for humanity to feel that safety and to remember that. And that's what allows us to uh, feel safe enough to awaken and heal this pain of planetary enslavement, right? planetary destruction. Whew, okay, and so as we're doing this, we're feeling that um, almost like this little tendril begins to grow out of our tailbone. Just as if you've ever seen a new root growing out of a plant, it's this white, it's such a beautiful and tender and new sprout. We're allowing this little sprout that's so new and beautiful and pristine and it's just growing and you can feel the vulnerability inside of it. Right, we're these vulnerable creatures that have such tenderness and sensitivity and, and yet we've been entrusted into this harsh AI world with war and destruction and you know torture and all these things and now we're remembering this field of unity and this little perfect tendril, the stem cells of roots. And it's the 
brain and she's growing out of the tailbone okay and you're so safe in your body you're so safe as a being of power and creation in this world and together we're going to grow this root right into the organic field of living light of living light right into the organic living field of this network this tree of life of this planet Ooh, and you can feel that rush of life force that's coming in, this organic life force, this aliveness. And you can allow that root just grow right into the organic crystalline light body of the new earth. Ooh. And just allow that rush of life force into the body. Allow that safety to open up the pelvic girdle, the lower chakras, to feel connected to the network, the unified tree of life on the planet. Good work, everybody. of being alive on this magnificent planet this vibration always reminds me of this um, image that i saw of an ape and like it was like um this ape that looked so proud to be an earthling and there's so many tricky new age programs that are like oh star seeds don't feel at home on earth we don't feel at home in the false matrix nobody does it's an artificial reality no organic life form feels at home in the false matrix but when we connect in with this life force this unified network of life of the living planet whoo, we feel that pride that primal life force and this is our home no matter what planet you're on no matter what dimension you're in you're connected to this unified same life force flows through the universe we are home in this vibration no matter where we are and this is a magnificent beautiful planet just got to be connecting to the right body in the right dimension okay and in this field we're going to run one last frequency clearing here higher self galactics or commanding for a clearing of all entities and energy siphoning devices in our lower chakras any programs 
that perpetuate our um, abusive relationship with the false matrix, our codependent relationship with the false matrix. all layers of our physical and etheric bodies, all dimensions, all of time, space, all parallel timeline realities, and etc. Clearing all outdated cords, attachments, entities, energy siphoning devices, sexual mystery, misery, fields, and programs. Woo. Completely liberating our gates of life. Woo. Open. Breathe. We are safe. clearing coming through here. Let's go ahead and integrate all fragmented aspects of self, fragmented personalities, outdated human personalities or AI personalities. Go ahead and collapse all of those back into the core soul matrix. Whew. Dissolve all artificial pattern programmings of our sense of self. Any parts of ourself that are disconnected from our soul, from there we go. Good work. Whew. This sense of power, right? This sense of God inside. When that life force is flowing into your field, you feel what's natural to you, which is the truth of your divinity, your godliness, your power to create. And not only your power to create but the joy and the brilliance that comes through the remembrance that this is what you were made to experience Whew, you feel the power of the life force that allows you to create whatever is of your highest dream whatever brings you the highest joy this is how we're meant to experience life in these bodies Whew, and just allow that template to integrate to occur, giving the love and the support that is here in this field for you and all of humanity. I feel how this field wants to work with you and through you is the profoundness of the remembrance of our soul. And we're here to embody this connection, right, as a homing beacon is a signal that when we click into this frequency, all of life responds to it. And by all of life, we mean humanity. All the people that are asleep, they need the homing beacon, and that's why we're here. To awaken our original templates of creation, to embody the original joy and perfect love of life. And here we're inviting our beloveds, 
our angelics, our galactics, our higher self, to bring in the integration frequencies into our field to support our body and our emotional bodies. Again, we're intending that all of the clearings and intentions were created here today. If they are in alignment with our highest love and highest joy, let them be permanent and let them be held to their completion, overseen by our own higher levels. And we're just going to breathe and integrate here together for a moment. If you're feeling just an overflowing amount of good energy, go ahead and just flow that right into the earth. Flow that right into your city, wherever you are, into all of the houses and the homes and the schools and the children and the people and the animals, into all the beings and just nourish them with this life force becoming this channel. And it's okay to just sit and enjoy these vibrations as well. gratitude from our heart into the heart of creation we're grateful for all of the supporting teams and beings and galactic families angelic families that were here in support of our healing work today and sending gratitude to every single soul that is here receiving these vibrations and participating in this beautiful anchoring of this new world into this living reality for the benefit 
and enjoy the living liberation of all beings on this planet. So now I invite you to just begin to come back into your body, wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers, wiggle your body. Feel how good it feels in the body when we are connected vibrationally, not only through our intelligence, but we're connected to the field of this nourishment and this love. that innocence, that joy, bring it all back into the body, higher self, galactic teams, we are requesting assistance and just supporting all souls return completely back into their bodies, let them know that they can return to these healing realms anytime they wish. And for now, we're just returning to ordinary reality. Count down from 10 when we get down to one. All of your multidimensional energies that are meant and in your highest to be back in your body at this time will be 10, 9, breathing, feeling the air coming in and out of your nostrils, 8, 7, feeling the love flowing through your, all of your capillaries and your blood vessels. 6, 5, 4, feeling the warmth of life force and awareness moving through the body. And 3, 2, 1. Okay. All right, I'm going to keep the field open for about five to ten minutes longer just so that we um, feel the field complete. The medicine space is officially closed and um, your field is, you know, uh, clear uh, from this connection, but if you're feeling like hanging out for a little longer, just to sit in this energy here, we're holding this space open for a little longer. Um, so that was a preliminary intro oracle ceremony, really preparing us for the Pleiades Gateway next weekend when we're entering ceremony space for three days. Um, and so if you're feeling like this was really supportive and you want to do more of this work, definitely come join us. Um, my friends are posting it in the chat box and it's also in the description below. We're going to be doing three full length ceremonies as well as workshops that talk more about our mission here on earth and why multidimensionality and the awareness of these energies are so important and for those of you that are returning to the space how was your journey how was your experience mm. yeah i mean the field compounds right so it's like when you open the space, you feel, and then it just keeps getting deeper and deeper. The field will just keep growing. And so imagine this, but for three days. And, you know, it's going to be really potent for planetary grid work. There's been several times that I had the opportunity to go on like a bigger radio show um, to promote this. And I decided actually not to. Um, I decided not to like market this event to more people because i wanted to keep the field really sacred and safe 
because I know that we're going to be doing pretty major planetary work together through this gateway. And so, um, you know, if you're hearing this and you're feeling the call, this is going out to you. I'm really not trying to get everybody and their mom to come to this. This is a very specific workshop. Um, it's for those with an advanced DNA template. It's for those that have this mission of restoring the original templates on Earth. And so if you feel called to get this information and to get this coaching, definitely come to the workshops and know that it was created for you. Um, if you're still feeling a little dizzy, try to move the body. Maybe do um, some um, what's called sun salutations in your body. Because you might just still be, your, your gateways might still just be open. So we want to just start to close down some of these energies and come back into the body. I'm so grateful to get this feedback, to know that the field is working. Um, yeah, thank you so much for showing up and for your willingness to do this work. Oh, yeah, and there was something that TG22 was saying about Vipassana. Yeah, so um, my work started, actually, like all of this healing work began for me at my Vipassana retreat. And at that retreat... Um, I was basically communicating with um, Buddha, who is a galactic being, um, for three days. And in that three days, um, I was shared with so much. And so I definitely learned about like the interdimensional technology that Vipassana is. And you're right, it is definitely um, the gift of it is that you don't visualize. And I actually really appreciate that because... This is actually something that we teach in our school about subtle body awareness and how important it is. It's literally our pathway out of the false matrix. So um, we'll definitely talk more about that another time. Um, yeah, the body scan. And, you know, for the most part, I actually don't recommend visualization in my teachings um, just for the main reason that for the most part, we already spend a lot of time in our mind and as a very external kind of um, active yang energy of the mind. And so the whole point of the body scan is to get into the yin where you're just noticing and perceiving and that is really a p the most powerful thing that we can do. So if um, you do a lot of visualizing or visualization meditation, but aren't getting very many results. I definitely recommend looking into the Vipassana. I know that there was a lot of, um, there's a lot of videos about that on YouTube. And um, there's also, um, yeah. Whew. Yeah, I mean, the gateway to subtle body um awareness is really the same gateway to higher sense perception higher sense percep perception is like psychic abilities telepathy all of these subtler abilities of our senses um, we can cultivate the quickest way to cultivate that is through um, the body scanning and just literally practicing sensing right because when we practice anything we get better at it um Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay so yeah i would love to hear there's like 245 people here oh you know what i better hop on facebook because i can't i wasn't seeing the messages from facebook live because i didn't set the settings right so let me change the settings here um, now I'm going to be able to see your comments. Whew, okay, so let's, um, yeah, I'm going to just talk real quick about 
ceremonies that we have um, next weekend, the three ceremonies and how they build on this one and how they go deeper. So let's see if I can bring it up here. <laughs> yeah, and for those of you that are here, you know, I definitely didn't hear from all 200 of you. So definitely let me know how you're feeling, how your experience was. Um, we're excited to hear from you. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, so the first ceremony next weekend, we're going to be doing a shadow body restoration. So this is really the continuation. We only really got to touch the surface. Um, we only got to really touch the surface of the denser fields. And I would love to hear more about your experience with the denser fields because that's where, you know, our deepest pains. This is really we want to get into the deepest places. Um, and so whoo, it's still happening. As soon as I start talking about it, it starts happening. Um, right. And so when we do the shadow body resp restoration, we're going deeper into the parental contracts the things that we inherited, the pain patterns that we inherited from our ancestors, um, outdated childhood coordinates of wounding. So we're going to do some quantum journeying back into those spaces to clear, you know, any wormholes or astral manipulations. Um, yeah, and it's basically just uh, an entire ceremony focused on that. So we're going to be able to go a lot deeper with the shadow body restoration and that's really actually leading us into the artificial seals and implants clearing which you know we can't really do high level seal clearings unless other layers of things are cleared um and i'm gonna tell you guys this story um so back um last year or two years ago when i started doing the seals clearings i realized that they're in the earth and that that's what's perpetuating them in humanity and immediately imprinting people as they're in the womb and being born. And so um, I'm going to address that in just a second, Tasha. And so I'm in the bath for like three hours clearing these seals out of my body. And I knew that I did some really big work. And I was like, okay, I'm going to like pay attention to any feedback because I could feel I was pulling them or pulling on them on the earth's grid. And so I got out of the bath and the neighbor across the street became possessed by a demon that was very upset by what I was doing, that he p was pointing um, a rifle scope through my window. And um, <laughs> whew, um, I know that sounds wild and scary, but obviously like the entities didn't actually have enough power to possess him for very long. And they also didn't have the energy to make him actually do anything. It was just a scare tactic. So as soon as I saw it, I was like, wow, I must have done some good stuff. And, you know, that actually he just stopped doing it. And then he told me he was drunk. So um, he was definitely just, you know, possessed. But this is why I've decided to keep this container super tight. Um, like I said, I had several opportunities to promote it to a wider audience. And I've chosen not to. Because I feel like there's a reason why certain people have found me at this point in time. And it just didn't feel right to go. And then yesterday, my friend Harlan invited me on a show. And actually, I was on for two minutes. And then all of my technology crashed. <laughs> so my computer, my looper, like everything died. And it was another way that I felt the galactics are protecting this sacred space that we're creating together. Um, so um let's see here tasha says i'm feeling pains all over my body and in my organs is this normal so feeling pains is totally normal you're even going to feel emotionally agitated maybe right we're just purging like the frequencies are moving in a quantum field and so we've we're, we're we've literally just initiated the clearing it's going to really be the next week that things are still clearing and so you might feel dizziness, you might feel tenderness, you might feel some aches, um, you might feel emotionally 
agitated. And so grounding and drinking water, taking baths with baking soda and salt, these are things that balance out the electrical systems in our body. And if you get triggered, you know, don't yell at people. <laughs> um, it's just, you know, the, the frequencies purging and in a couple days you should balance out and you're going to feel like you're you're feeling better as a baseline than before um Waj Tech says will there be regular ceremonies like that in our school yes i'm probably going to be doing bi-weekly um or even weekly clearing ceremonies in the school um the support in the school is going to be very holistic so there's going to be weekly q a's and regular healing ceremonies um I don't know the exact schedule yet, but that's an absolutely. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so Zahra says, it felt really profound for me, but also my mind kept wandering and all I want to do right now is watch Netflix. I feel like I did good work tonight, but I don't feel better. So Zara, I want to let you know that you did great work tonight with any of these things. It's not like you're going to do one ceremony and you're going to be clear, right? This is something that compounds. For me, I've been doing this work for six, seven, eight years, and that's why my field is able to accrete to this level of light energy. Now, I, the, the tricky thing is, you ever done a parasite cleanse and then right after the parasite cleanse, you just want to eat sugar? Um, well, it's because the parasites are dying and they need to be fed to get strong again. And so um, I'm not even saying do or don't do anything. I say this is a perfect opportunity for us to study. Your body is the perfect um, Petri dish for you to understand our reality and our society that we have. In order for us to support humanity, we have to understand what we're dealing with. And so if you're going to watch Netflix, I recommend just checking in with yourself, see how you're feeling, see how your consciousness feels, see how your energy body is feeling, and then go and watch Netflix and just pay attention and take notes on how you're feeling so you can judge for yourself, you know, how you want to move through life and what you want to do and what you're allowing into your field when you engage in certain activities and never you know, judge anything as bad because the last thing that we want is to feel like we're doing something wrong. Everything is, you know, ba uh, love motivated, right? It's like at some point, certain things fall away because we love ourselves so much and we don't want to expose ourselves to certain energies, but that needs to be an internal realization. So I would recommend just really paying attention to how it feels when you do certain things. And then over time, you know, you're going to have data that you can work with. Okay. Naomi says, I, I plan to sign up for the Pleading Gateway. I was concerned about money, but now I see this is priceless. <laughs> Thank you so much for saying that. I mean, um, yeah, so usually my personal sessions are about $233. And this ceremony is going to do so much more for you than a one-on-one -on -one session with me at this moment in your journey. And so um, I always like to price things um, where it's fair and still accessible. I mean, there are people out there that charge way more for, you know, conferences and things like this and don't offer nearly as much vibrational value. So thank you so much for reflecting that um, back to me. So Stephanie says, I was interrupted a lot. I felt a lot in my upper chakras, but I didn't feel like I was able to address my root. So here's the thing, you guys. Listening to the recording is going to be great. And you can keep listening until... Because the lower chakras is harder to feel because it's just denser. And so the more that you address it, the easier it's going to be. And you can definitely listen to the recording Somebody was asking if there's preparation you can do for next weekend ceremony. So on the course site, once you purchase your ticket, there are three full length sound fields that you can listen to every day. And I would love for those of you that have been listening to the sound field to just let us know if they're working. I've been getting like incredible feedback. People are having just massive healing experiences being inside these sound fields. 
and it makes me happy because I work really hard on those. I'm like sitting on my computer like a dork, you know, tuning the vibrations of the sounds just to the perfect frequency for my intentions and then holographically coding them and then testing it on myself and getting really high. So this is what I do on my on my free time in my house. I'm just creating these things and um so those are available on the course site for preparing for the Pleiades Gateway. Um, so let's see. Yeah, guys, this is literally just the beginning of. Oops, <laughs> Donna, I'm proud of you. <laughs> Um, this is only the beginning of us processing this pain together as a community, you know, because I don't really hear many people like, yeah, there's fragments of it, like certain indigenous shamans will talk about the pain of separation, but like on a planetary level, this is the stuff that humanity needs to feel in order to I expand and grow beyond it and to find our way back home. And so as star seeds, you know, in order for us to land these new templates, we need to be connected to that life force because that's what gives us the energy to create with our hands and feet on the ground. Now, there's been so many new age mind control programs that make us think that, you know, light workers are just here to be love and light and fluffy all the time. And it's just keeping us from getting ha our hands dirty, you know, going out there and, and creating the schools, creating the modalities, creating the businesses that build the resources so we can really create the communities that we want. And, you know, a lot of people are waiting for the investor or waiting for the money to appear where you are the infinite creator. You are carrying the original creator template. And this is the stuff that we're going to go deeply into in our school because every single person on this call, you have a more advanced DNA template that allows you to create. We don't need to manifest. We don't need to imagine. We don't need to visualize. This is scientifically a process where source frequency is designed to flow through your anatomy and give you the power of creation. That's literally what your bodies are made to do. And this is something that um, was taken away from humanity. And this is something that we're reminding humanity and how to bring back. And so in order for us to liberate humanity, we have to embody those uh, original templates of creation. So um, I've definitely found um, what I'm nerdy about. Um, and yeah, anyway, that was just a long rant to say that this is just the beginning of us starting to process planetary pain together. And we can do it with grace. We can do it with style. We can do it in this field where there's so much love and support. And this is just the deep work that we have to do. So I'm so grateful that all of you are here. Just beginning. Um... So people are loving the sound fields. So Isis, um, the only sound field today I would recommend if you want to listen to something after this would be the joy of creation. I feel like the other two would be a little bit too intense. You definitely don't want to engage in more aura clearing right now. So um, the joy of creation would be a subtle one that can fuel the field with love. So that would be one that would be good to do today. UFO Mark says, my heart chakra. Oh, I lost it here. Dang it, where we go? Oh my goodness. Oh my, oh, here we go. UFO Mark says, my heart chakra literally aches many times when I try and process any of the emotional trauma and pain. You know, sometimes it's hard to do it ourselves, right? Because it's a lot. It could feel like we're holding like all the pain in all the universes all at once and that's how it feels sometimes and so you know hopefully I would love to hear from you how the heart healing happened today and if you feel like you received um, forward momentum um, Lynn's, Lynn Lee says I fell asleep and then woke up well I still get the benefit absolutely you know sometimes falling asleep helps your field receive it even deeper I would recommend listening back to it um, you might fall asleep again, but then if you listen back to it, 
enough times when you, you stay awake, you'll consciously integrate the codes as well. Subtle purge is what we like. There's no need to be intense about it, right? No need to suffer. This chat energy is super good. Um, Darren says, are you offering retreats? So um, it's been weird with you know what. Um, I will be offering retreats probably towards the end of next year because I want to launch the school and I have some exciting news that I won't share yet, but for a couple of different reasons, I'm probably not going to be able to offer a retreat, but I'm definitely feeling called to work with people more on a physical level, so um, we're going to be building a center here uh, in New Mexico, and so in the coming years, I'll definitely be doing more work in person. Babaji. Okay, Kaylin says, can you explain more about sexual misery fields and the things that block and distort sexuality? This is a huge conversation that I'm probably going to make its own conversation about. Actually, I'm pretty sure I've this planned. I'm going to be doing a video on this, um, not next weekend. So there's no Starseed mission support next weekend, obviously, because I'm going to be doing the Pleiades Gateway. But then the week after that, um, or the week after that, I'll be doing a video on the sexual misery field because it's probably the most important conversation we need to be having um, on the planet right now. But basically, it's a negative alien technology system that's imprinted on the planet that hijacks and stiffens human sexual energy and the way that it appears in the 3d is through pornography and media and the way that pop culture portrays sex and now even in schools you know they're teaching just this absurd um, curriculum about sexuality and all of that is to disconnect and distort original human sexual innocence because sexual energy is actually our connection to creation itself right and so that's a huge like even patriarchy a lot of people think patriarchy is this men are hurting women well actually no it's literally an a, an etheric program that has mind control the men to hurt women and it's like this reversal because in nature there's no man that wants to hurt a woman it's just not a part of our natural makeup in any um you know, Native American or super aboriginal tribe, you'll see that men love women, men adore women, men protect women, men support women because women represent the continuation of life. And so all of this patriarchy stuff, that's all part of a interdimensional mind control program or technology. And, you know, that stuff, I mean, we're going to break some of it down in, um, in the Pleiades gateway. Um, we're going to discuss, you know, why and how, because it's important to talk about like the spirituality of it, but also how it appears in human society so you can recognize it, right? And come into lucidity. Um, and so this is a deep work that I really been um, engaging in inside of myself. And there's just a lot of trauma and pain so, um, Ramnok says, you can find info about sexual misery program if you Google Nephilim Reversal Grid. That's really great. Um, you can go on Ascension Glossary and search sexual misery. You'll find all those things. I have a chapter in my book um, about this as well in the um, Ariana Grande chapter. Um, my book is called I Am Starseed. So, you can find information in there as well. Okay. Um, so, um, Karen, you can email us. Here's our email. Um, we're not currently taking any private clients because we're just working really hard on um, building our school. I have a lot of filming to do, so I'm not currently taking on one-on-one -on -one clients. But the Pleiades Gateway next weekend is kind of the thing. And I have a really exciting um, interim offering to share with you guys in December. 
you guys are going to flip out when I share it with you, but I can't share it with you yet because I'm not ready. Um, but, uh, yeah. Um, so I, uh, carry a lot of the original Seraphim Angelic, um, Divine Mother Dragon, uh, DNA templates. And so it's literally part of my soul's ancestry to heal the reversal, um, uh, the what I call the Baphomet seal. Um, the Baphomet field is literally the reversal field, and and so my soul, I mean, I like this is the stuff. I I live in the middle of nowhere, literally in the forest, and I literally just do this planetary work all day. I, it's not a part time thing for me. This is my full time job, and so there's just a lot that goes into this that I think is really important for me to talk about. So I will focus. An entire thing on this I do have another video on my channel called um, creation sexuality and that's a really um, good one to watch if you're interested in that so circumcision for men is definitely a way is one of the sick things that happen in our society um, because the tip of the penis is actually correspondent with the heart organ um, in Taoist anatomy, um, there's different parts of the penis and the vagina that reflect to all of the organ systems. And that is why when, you know, partners come together in union, there's an opportunity to heal all the organ systems. And depending on, you know, if you have an illness in any one of your organ systems, there's specific sexual positions that help heal and stimulate healing, stimulate life force to those parts of our body. So, the tip of the penis is actually correspondent with the heart organ. And so, um, Karen, I'm putting my email in the uh, comments here. So, oh, thank you, Liz. Um, mm -hmm. Yes, many dragon creatures here in this field. Family. Okay, so I'm feeling the field is pretty much settled. I'm so honored and grateful to share this healing space with you guys. And it's just so beautiful. I'm excited for the school to launch because we're going to have this platform to interact with on a much more regular and sustained basis. And that just fills my heart because we're getting onto our mission and we're doing it together. And that just makes me so happy. So thank you so much for tuning in. If you feel like this healing would support a star seed in your life, go ahead and share this video. And otherwise, I will see you um oh, Okay. Um <laughs> I'll put my like people are always asking me about so my email is not my PayPal. Um dot me slash Earth Star Sanctuary. Okay, so here is my PayPal link. Um, anyway, um, I just recommend everyone coming out to Pleiades Gateway next weekend. It's really going to be beautiful. And then in the meantime, I will see you um, the week after. Um, and we'll continue our deep dives into reality and our work together, our profound work together here on Earth. I love you so, so much, and we will see you next week or the week after that. Bye.